Hi everyone and welcome to BizCentral USA's online marketing webinar. My name is Mariana and I am the marketing coordinator and today we're going to be talking about how you can use or how you can improve your marketing strategy in order to attract potential customers. So the first thing we're going to talk about is marketing. What is marketing? Well, marketing is defined by the American Marketing Association as the activity, set of institutions, processes for creating and communicating offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners, and society at a large. So basically, marketing is communicating the value of your product or service, and the purpose is to promote or sell. So why is marketing so important for a small business? There are many reasons why marketing is so important, but to mention a few, it helps you get the word out, increase sales, encourage return business, and build your online reputation. So as a small business owner, one of the biggest challenges you will face when it comes to internet marketing is how do you stand out in a sea of competition? With so many small businesses out there, so many websites, how do you make it easy for customers to find you? In this presentation, we're going to talk about optimizing your small business website, creating content, content, and social sharing. These three are online marketing musts. So online marketing, also referred to as internet marketing or web marketing, is the process of marketing products or services over the internet. The internet has brought a lot of many unique benefits to our new marketing strategies. Amongst them we find that it has a low cost, it allows you to target a global audience, you can be online 24-7, and it really allows you a lot of flexibility as to what your marketing strategy is going to be. So search engine optimization is the first internet marketing must for any small business. SEO is the key to attracting organic traffic and is perhaps one of the most important internet marketing strategies you can have. So SEO is basically the process of improving the volume or quality of the traffic that comes to your website from search engines. The higher ranking a site has on a search engine, which means the closer you are to one, the more visitors you will receive. Some facts about internet marketing is that 7 out of 10 consumers look online first for a local business information. Additionally, 80% of consumers say that they're more likely to try something new if a friend recommended it on social media. Finally, with statistics of 88% of adults in the U.S. having a cell phone, 57 having a laptop, 19 owning an e-reader, and 19% having a tablet, Online marketing is definitely a must when it comes to promoting your business. So when it comes to SEO, there are two types of SEO you can do to really make your business stand out. As a small business owner, your thought or hope is that once you build a website, people will find it. However, you need to do more than simply build a website in order for customers to find it. You need to optimize it. Search engine optimization is the key to getting discovered by search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. There are two different SEO approaches, an on-page SEO approach and an off-page SEO approach. So as the name indicates, on-page SEO includes the implementation of keywords on your site, headers, alternate text, meta descriptions, and content. It is basically all the elements that you can change and tweak in order to make your page more accessible to your customers. Your off-page SEO is the strategy that you do not control. Um, it's everything that has to do with helping your ranking on a search engine but is outside of your website. So the purpose of off-page SEO is to obtain inbound links from great websites and this will increase your domain authority and overall web presence. So when talking about on-page SEO, there are five easy elements you can use to optimize your website. The first element is page titles. So page titles are the text that you see on the top of your browser window when you're viewing a specific page. It is also 
the title that is presented when someone searches for your business on Google or Yahoo or Bing. So in this example, um, we're showing you an image of Biz Central USA's SEO services title. So as you can see on the image on your right hand side, it says Small Business SEO Services Biz Central USA. Page titles can be edited in your site's HTML code and it is the text that is between your T tags. Some tips when it comes to writing your page titles are, first of all, you want to write page titles that clearly describe the page's content. So in our case for this example, Small Business SEO Services, we are clearly indicated that our SEO services are targeted to small businesses. You want to include relevant keywords. In this case, our keyword, keyword is Small Business SEO. You want to make sure you make it less than 70 characters long. This is because after 70 characters, certain search engines will cut off your title. So you want to make sure that all the relevant information is complete and isn't cut off. Another tip is to include the company name at the end of the title. Because unless you're a huge business and someone like Coca-Cola, people will, will likely not know who you are. So you want to make sure that not only you're describing what you're offering, but who you are. And the last tip is that you want to use a unique title for each page. Okay? So the second element to optimize on your website is the meta description. Meta description is a short text summary that is displayed by a search engine and the results. And whilst this description doesn't really affect your search engine position, it is the first opportunity you have to catch your reader's attention. You want to ensure that your description is short and sweet. It has to be concise and appealing so that you motivate the reader to click. So for example, on our description for SEO services, we have at BizCentral we offer a variety of SEO services that are sure to accommodate your small business needs and budgets. Okay? It is short, it is to the point, and it catches your eye letting you know, hey, our services are affordable and they're targeted to your small business. The third element you can optimize on your website is your headings. So headings are the text between your H tags on a website, and they allow you to make text larger and more prominent. Okay. So if you think about your web page as a book, your titles would be the chapters. These are used to make relevant information stand out and give your content a cohesive structure. It is a good idea to include your keywords in your headings, keeping in mind that a larger heading will give more weight to a specific keyword. It is recommended that you only have one H1, which is the largest heading, and then you can have one or more H2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s, depending on the amount of content that you have. So if you've noticed, we currently redesigned our website, and for an example purpose, I take a screenshot of our SEO um, for Small Businesses service site. So the first title you see, SEO for Small Business, that is our H1. Why? Because we want to give more weight to that keyword. Our keyword or key phrase in this case is SEO for Small Business. Below you will see, our affordable SEO services can help you grow your business. This is our H2. We're using it to break up the text and indicate what we would call, if it was a book, a different chapter. The last title you see at the bottom, what SEO services do we offer, that is our H3. So keep in mind that for SEO purposes, there will be given more weight to the keywords that are in larger headings. The fourth element that you can use to optimize um, your website is important for on-page SEO purposes. It is your images. So images not only provide a more user-friendly experience for the reader, but they also allow you an opportunity to include keywords and provide a visual aid to the message that you're trying to convey. So when you add an image to your site, you want to keep in mind two very important things. First, you want to save this image for web. And what I mean by that is that you want to make sure that it's not a heavy, a heavy file. Heavy files slow down your site and that affects your speed. A, a long loading speed is definitely something that search engines don't appreciate. So always ensure that the file is not heavy, that it loads quickly. 
The second thing you want to keep in mind when you're adding images is that this is a great opportunity to add your keywords. You want to add them both in the file name and in the alternate text. So I wrote down a little example for you to visualize. And if your keyword is branding services, then your, your file name should be something like branding services JPEG or PNG, depending on what file you're using. But also, your alternate text, you want to include the keyword. So then again, we have it, alternate text, branding services. Last but not least, um, an important element that you want to optimize when thinking about SEO on your website is your URLs. Okay, think of your website URLs as your structure. Okay, they should indicate or let the reader know where they are on your website. The structure refers to how your pages are organized. So for example, BizCentral USA offers different services. Okay? And SEO is part of one is one part of our marketing services. So our URL in this case is bizcentral.com forward slash services because that is the parent category forward slash small business marketing and then SEO. You can see that um, I'm sorry. When structuring your URL, keep in mind that it must include your keywords and describe what is on the page. So now that we covered five tips to improve your on-page SEO, let's talk about what off-page SEO is. Your off-page SEO refers to all the online marketing efforts focused outside of your website. I'm sorry, give me one second. Okay, so it focuses on all the, mar the SEO efforts outside of your website. The task is to obtain inbound links from good websites that have a good page and, do and domain authority. The purpose of off-page SEO is to increase your authority and overall web, uh, web presence. So the key to off-page SEO is creating great content that is worth linking to, referencing, and sharing. This is where creating valuable content comes in. Generating content, a content strategy is crucial for any small business. And that brings us to our next point, creating content. So I'm sure you guys have been hearing for a while now that content is king and that is, it seems to be the hot topic at the moment. The reason for this is that without content, you really don't have an online marketing strategy. Optimizing your website is important, but it's pointless if you don't have content to rank. So over the years, search engines have grown smarter. Years ago, there were a lot of techniques um, that were frowned upon, such as keyword stuffing, where you could grab your website and just write your keywords over and over again in the same color as the background, and then a search engine would say, oh, wow, they have this keyword a ton of times. This must be a really good page. That is not the case anymore, and these techniques no longer work. Search engines are smart, and now they give weight to content, to people linking. The way they see it is if you have good websites linking to you, then you must be good as well. So by creating high quality, valuable content, you will not only attract visitors to your site, but you will attract the right kind of visitor. There's no point in getting a lot of traffic to your site if none of them turn into potential customers or leads. So you really want to attract the one customer that's actually interested in the information that you're providing and that will most likely become a customer. So how do you create and distribute valuable content to fuel your SEO strategy? Well, blogging, of course. Blogging is an essential part of your SEO online marketing strategy. A blog will make your website more dynamic by adding new and fresh content frequently. Search engines tend to reward websites that continuously post new information. The goal of your blog is to, pu to publish valuable content. And we really want to make sure that we stress how important it is to post valuable content. It is the opportunity to present yourself as a business and industry expert. It, Blogs are not designed to create promotional posts or try to write a 600-word sales pitch. They're designed to provide your reader with added value. You want to educate and inform them about 
how to face common industry issues, solutions, or even answering frequently asked questions. So some tips to keep in mind when writing a blog is first of all, first of all, you want an appealing title. Um, this is the first thing your reader will see. So you want to ensure that your title is compelling and interesting. Also make sure that it clearly indicates what the post is about. You don't want to be deceitful. You really want readers that are genuinely interested in what you have to say. So a great title is the first step. Second, you want a well-written blog. So you want to ensure that your post is easy to read and that you're not overwhelming the reader with text. Instead, ensure you divide your articles into sections. You can use your headers, as we spoke about um, a couple of minutes ago. You can also include images in your blog post with alternate text, of course. And you just want to make sure that you have a structure that is easy to follow. Use words that your reader will understand. Don't use technical jargon. And make sure that you include your keywords. The third tip for writing blogs is to include links to relevant content. You want to allow your readers to find more in-depth information should they be interested in. So use links to point to other websites and your internal pages as well. Last but not least, you want to include a call to action. So this is really important. Imagine the scenario. You get the right kind of reader, he read the article, he is interested, he wants to know more, and there's nothing to do. There's no button, there's no indication, there's no call to action. That reader will most likely just leave your site. So always, always, always include a clear call to action. Something like register now, download now, subscribe to our newsletter. Just make sure you have a way to capture these leads and that you don't need leave the customer wondering what is the next step. So once you have optimized your website, you've determined the topics you want to write about, you've created a well-written blog, you have valuable content, what is the next step? Well, attracting readers, of course. So what better way to attract readers than social media? While there are many, many social media networks that you can use to promote your business, and they will depend ultimately on what you sell and who you're targeting, we will mention three social media platforms that you must use to promote your small business. So the first one is Facebook. I am sure you all are familiar with Facebook. Facebook's been around for a long time. It is said that nowadays it has over 1 billion monthly users. Okay, Facebook is the most popular social media network in the world. In order to grow your Facebook fan page, you want to make sure, first of all, that you have a company page. And we here at BizCentral struggle with this a lot. We've seen a lot of customers that come to us and they say, no, I have a Facebook page. And when you look at it, it is a personal Facebook page where you have to send a friend request and they're trying to pass it as a business. This is not okay. Not only does it go against Facebook's terms and conditions, a company page and a personal page have different tools. Um, a company page allows you to see insights, it gives you analysis, it has much more information. So you want to make sure that you make a company page for your small business. And some tips for that are fill in your company information completely. Provide contact information, a well-written business description, and also include some of your keywords. Another tip you can use to get people to your Facebook page is to invite exist your friends. Ask your friends and family to like your business page. It is said that on average, every Facebook user has around 200 friends. So when you think about this, asking your family and friends to promote it can really give you a lot of exposure and go a long way. Another tip for managing your Facebook um, company page is to ensure you integrate your social media channels with your website, okay? You can use plugins to get people to engage with you on Facebook without having to actually go to Facebook. So once a reader is on your site, you should allow them the opportunity to like your company page with a simple button 
or share on Facebook a post that they found interesting. Ensure you have these buttons on your e-blast, blog post, and on every online communication that you have with your clients. Another tip, and we spoke about this previously, is that you want to create great content. Okay, you have to provide people with interesting, valuable content. You have to give them something that they're going to want to read. By posting things like Happy Friday or We Hope You Have a Great Monday, well, you're not really adding them value, are you? And it's hard to try to get a lot of engagement with those sorts of posts. So you want to ensure that you're asking questions, running contests, linking to great articles. Um, you want to interact with them online. My last tip for managing your company Facebook account is to reply to comments, questions, and reviews. And when I say reply, I mean in a timely manner. You need to answer questions. The internet has made people very impatient. And we've pretty much come to expect that once we ask a question, it's going to be answered immediately. I understand this is not the case, and it's not always possible, but make sure you dedicate the time to provide answers, solutions, in a timely manner. If you get a good review, hey, reply and say thank you. If you get a bad one, reply and try to see what you can do to make it up to them. The next social media site we're going to talk about is Twitter. Twitter is the social media network that allows you to post a message with a maximum, of, a maximum of 140 characters. So I know what you're thinking. How much can I actually say in 140 characters? Well, you can say a lot. Twitter is great for sharing links, videos, photos. All you have to do is write a compelling headline and put your link within 140 characters. So Twitter allows you to share information with your followers and follow them to keep up to date with the latest news. Managing a Twitter account can seem like a full-time job just itself because if you use Twitter, you know how quickly your feed changes, right? Every couple of seconds you update it and there's new tweets. So here's some tips on how you can make your business stand out. First of all, you want to optimize your Twitter profile. You want to include a business descriptions and your keywords, because this is all part of an internet marketing strategy. So those same keywords that you had on the website and the same keywords that you're included in your content, you want to make sure they're present on your social media profiles. The second tip is to tweet constantly. And I know you're probably thinking, how am I supposed to do that? Well, there are a lot of softwares out there that allow you to schedule posts in advance. Okay, so you can come up with a couple of ideas, put them into one of these social media management tools, and then they will be automatically posted at certain hours. The last tip I have is make your tweets visual. And what I mean, what I mean by this is use a head like, headline like, check out this great marketing infographic, and then put a link to an infographic on your website. It's a great way to increase your traffic and Customers are more likely to click on it if it's visual or engaging. Um, it is said that content is more likely to go viral if it includes a video, so that's some food for thought. Think about how you can include a video that promotes your small business. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Google+. Um, I love using social media, and I have my personal accounts, and Google+, Plus is one that I can't really seem to enjoy using personally. But as the marketing coordinator, I understand the value that this can have for a small business. Okay? Google Plus is a great social network for any business as it works directly with Google Search. For this reason, attracting and engaging customers on Google Plus is a must. Okay? You have to keep in mind that Google Plus is owned by Google. And let's face it, the whole point of SEO is to rank on Google. So we keep seeing a lot in searches that maps come up, reviews come up from Google+. This means that Google is actually giving a lot of value to that content that you're placing on Google+. So some tips to manage your Google account are, keep in mind the SEO value. Whether you like or don't like this platform, always keep in mind that this has great SEO value. One of the biggest advantages um, that Google has is, though, it 
is great for your SEO. So you want to make sure you combine your Google local page, which is the one that has your map listing, and your Google Plus business page, okay? By doing this, you're tremendously improving the SEO value that it has. A second tip is using visuals, okay? Visuals will not only help users stay engaged, because it's easier for them to like a photo or a video than actually read an article, but it also appears when someone does an image search of your brand online if you're locally verified. So what I mean by that is that if you have, for example, Biz Central, we have our Google Plus page and we post images. If we're locally verified, then every time someone searches for Biz Central on the image search, they will see everything that we'll, we've posted. The third tip is to use hashtags. So hashtags are very popular both in Twitter and on Google+. Okay, and they're a great tool because they increase the odds of users searching for similar information to find your postings. So for example, if every time I post something I use the hashtag marketing, if someone types in marketing in Google+, and they're looking for that, it increases the odds of them finding my posts whether they're searching for Biz Central or not. Another tip is to add a plus one button and we mentioned this when we spoke about Facebook we said how important it is to have your social media integrated on your website so make sure you integrate Google Plus add a plus one button on your blog post emails and on your website and last but not least this is actually very very important and it's great for SEO values is ask for reviews positive reviews will help you build your local credibility and overall improve your rankings. And I know that you can't always get good reviews, but if you have a happy client, just reach out to them and say, hey, I'm glad you're pleased with our service. Would you mind taking a moment to review us on Google Plus? This will really help. So how can Biz Central help you? in your small business? Well, we provide online marketing and SEO services, okay? Founded in 2004, Biz Central USA is proud to be a small business resource center and to say that we've helped over 20,000 clients over the years. So our passion really is to help your business succeed. Um, we understand what it takes to build a business from the ground up and we want to help you do that. So what do we offer? Well, we have SEO packages, social media management packages, online marketing packages. And by this I mean we can help you with your SEO, we can help you set up a social media account, we can help you manage it, and we really have online marketing packages designed to fit your business needs. Whether you need help writing a blog, posting a blog, you need someone to manage your website or manage your social media, we can help. So make sure to stop by through our website and check out all the services we have. So if no one has any questions at this moment, because I'm actually looking and I cannot see any, but you think about one later today, don't worry, send us an email to marketing at bizcentralusa.com and we will be happy to answer them. Um, if you're wondering if this presentation will be available, yes it will. We will post it on the website under resources webinars. Okay, we usually put the, um, the actual PowerPoint and the recording if you want to go back and reference it. So I just want to say thank you very much for taking this time out to listen to this presentation. I hope you found it useful. And like I said, if you have any questions, email us to marketing at bizcentralusa.com. And I look forward to catching you at the next webinar. Thank you very much.